I'm Brian Westbrook here at AWS reInvent 2024 with GeekWire Studios. Our next guest is with GetLab. Your title, Ashley Kramer, is the Interim Chief Revenue Officer and Chief Marketing and Strategy Officer for GetLab. Ashley, thank you so much for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. A title's a lot. It's a lot, but thanks for getting it right. You are, I, well, I read it on the card. You are not, you don't have a down day, do you? I don't, I don't, I don't believe in this. That's perfect. There's but this, here's no the, such thing as a rest day. Here's the good news, at AWS reInvent, big announcement from GetLab and AWS. Tell us about that first. Yeah, we're super excited. We announced, uh, that GitLab and AWS will have an integrated AI offering to help accelerate software innovation and developer productivity. What does that mean? How is that going to implement and what do we need to know about this partnership moving forward? Sure, so what it means is we've worked together to have an integrated AI experience and what we found is that it's best to meet customers where they are. That's often in the AWS console yep. and that's often using GitLab to develop their code and get it through to deployment. And so we brought together our AI innovation into one offering. And how is that going to work? What's the the, the manifestation of that? Uh, you've talked to some of the benefits. Let's talk about how to, how to implement that. Sure, so the way it's going to be implemented is it will seamlessly be integrated. And what we will have as a first iteration of our offering is some of the things that were announced at AWS reInvent around the agenic AI that Amazon Q has come out within their developer version. And so that's things around automated feature development, unit testing, code reviews, yep. and being able to update your code like in the Java language. Now, when you use GitLab, you're really if you're stuck in that development environment, you're trying to figure out what's going on. What are you hearing from customers that are using GetLab as they roll out AI products, what are some of the challenges that they're having and, and how are you solving those? And that's a great question. The major challenge we see customers having is too many tools when it comes yeah. to software development. And we, we, have, we see customers having up to 14 different tools. And so what we've always done at our core is help customers consolidate those tools into a platform. And very often they are doing that with GitLab on AWS, and so integrating AI as a next step, since we've both been working on AI solutions, was the natural next step in a partnership to help customers with that total consolidation, but also to increase productivity and improve security and compliance. The announcement is very new, but you're already hearing from customers. What has the feedback been? What do you expect the market to do with this? Are, are they embracing it wholeheartedly or are they a little more skeptical? So we've had about eight beta customers prior to the announcement testing it out, and they are thrilled to see the Agenic AI from Amazon Q Developer come together with our software development workflows in DevSecOps and also our duo AI capabilities that GitLab's been working on over the past two years. Your title includes Interim Chief Revenue Officer, so these companies are using integrated tools, streamlined processes to hopefully save money. Any numbers, any indications of where that's been, you've seen that already? They're looking to save cost, but it's not always a straight dollar to dollar. So of course, if you're going to cut out tools and vendors, you will save cost. But also, there is a human cost when it comes to how much efficiency you can provide in their life. So a developer comes in, do they want to be working on mundane tasks that they work in every day? Or do we want them to use their mind to develop creative solutions and let AI take care of those mundane tasks. So it kind of sounds like you're optimizing a developer's workload, letting the software engineers do software engineering. That's right, and the other thing that we're really leaning into along with AWS is beyond just writing code. Lots of companies are obsessed right now with the actual writing of code. I like to say I don't think more code is necessarily more secure, valuable code. So what we're focusing on together are those things that I mentioned around unit testing and feature development, upgrading your coding language, um, and beyond code reviews. Because it's about that. It's about being able to take the developer out of just writing code, which is only 21% of their time based on a study that we ran, and what about that other 79% securing, planning the project, being able to deploy it, monitor it, and start over testing, again? All, the, right, all right, of it. Right. Now, when we look to the future, when we look to what's next, not only with GitLab and AWS, but in this space in general, what are you seeing? What are we going to be talking about next year? Yeah, so I see three major trends coming up in the next wave of what this Gen IA. Gen, Gen AI wave becomes, and that is around um, being able to have more context-aware AI. 
Often that can be air-gapped within their AWS cloud ecosystem. That can be using GitLab as well. Being able to have deep context while not sharing their IP, while keeping it secure. Uh, the second is around ROI. So we hear every company say AI is top of mind and you know we're getting board level pressure to introduce AI. We don't know how to actually measure the impact. Right. And so I see a lot of, we have AI impact dashboards in GitLab for example and we'll now partner with AWS on what they have. How can you actually prove the productivity metrics, the security improvements via ROI and metrics? And the last one is I think a lot of people have been really leaning, leaning into reactive gen AI. That could be code suggestions. Starting to type, oh, it notices I'm typing? Here's a suggestion. I see that pivoting to proactive, and that's why you're hearing more about agenic AI. A developer comes in and sits down and sees right on their screen, these are the issues you should focus on. These bugs popped up overnight. We ran a scan on your code last night, and here's some vulnerabilities. It's proactive, and it's helping the developer get their work done faster, and not waiting for that reactive mode. So the engine, if you will, is looking at the bug list and saying, hey, I can help you tackle these five things. They may not be the highest priority, but they're, they could be easily wins using AI to help with it proactive. Could go, if it's context aware, it could say, we know this bug is the most impactful because of the context that we have throughout the code base. Even better, on behalf of all of my software engineering and developer friends, we want to say thank you for making it easier and allowing the developers and the engineers to focus on what really matters, and that's getting out there, making safe and secure code. That's thank what it's you all so about. much for joining us. Ashley Kramer with GitLab. I'm Brian Westbrook, GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching. Hey.